Hi, in this tutorial, we will going to talk about user review pop-up in the game. First, go to Tools, Mobile Multistation Pro, Integration Tool, and here, choose the integration to be User Ratings pop-up. Click on Download Android in-app preview Unity Package first. Click on Google Play Packages for Unity and here download the Unity Package. After this, click Import. Import the required scripts. Click Import. Close this window. Clear the console. And here, right click in the hierarchy, create an empty game object. Call it user ratings. Create another empty game object and call it user ratings manager. In the user ratings game object, go to mobile monetization pro tools, mobile monetization user ratings manager, and drag and drop the user ratings pop up for the game. And for the user ratings manager, Drag and drop the user ratings manager script over here. Now here, if you look in the if you look into the game, you will notice that you can choose native Android pop-ups or the iOS review pop-up. We will going to test them in the real devices later in this tutorial. For now, I am going to uncheck them for now. And here for the link to the game, you can provide a link to your game. So when the click when the user click on your custom rating button, then they will be redirected to your game. For now, I will going to add a example game. Let's copy this link from here and paste it over here. For the launch checks, you can choose either to be app open counts or the session counts. I will choose app open counts. That means that whenever the user will be open the app, it will be count as one. For the launch counts, I will put it to be two. That means if the user open it to be the second time, the rating pop-up will be displayed to him. For the custom review pop-up, I have already gone and created a custom rate pop-up. If you activate it, you will see that there is a simple bluish background with the rate my game text on the top and the rate now and the later button and I have five different stars with the black color as a default color now here in the user rating pop-up let's drag and drop the custom rate pop-up over here for the custom rate UI button let's drag and drop the rate now rate now button and the later UI button in the field. For the star ratings by default, I will choose it to be 5 as when this pop-up will appear, it will going to by default show the 5 stars. For the star color, I will choose it to be yellow. You can pick any color you want. For the custom stars, here I will lock the inspector, select all of the 5 stars and drag them over here. I will unlock the inspector now go back to the user ratings for the star sprite you can go to your project mobile modification pro ui rewards and here drag and drop this star over here the yellow star that will going to appear whenever i will click any of these star now let's push play and test this before testing make sure to deactivate this Let's push play. So this is the count number one. If I exit the play mode and push play again, this will be counted as number two. And as you can see, the rate my pop-up is appearing. If I click on two, the other three stars become black by default. And if I click on five, they all become yellow with the sprite that I have chosen. Now, if you will click on the later, then this rate my pop-up will going to be come again after two times the user 
open the game. So let's exit play mode. Push again the play button. Exit one more time. Push the play button again. Great. And if I click on the read now button in this case, it will going to redirect me to the game. And read pop-up will not appear again. After I click on the read now button, let's exit the play mode. Now, let's go back to the user ratings. And this time, we will going to check the native Android review pop-up as well as the native iOS review pop-up in both the Android and the iOS device. Let's check these both for now. And let's not use the custom review pop-up. Let's first make a build to the iOS platform. Let's click on build. Note, when testing the rating pop-up on the iOS device, make sure you test them using the X code as if you will try to publish it under test flight, you will not be able to test or see the native iOS pop-up. As you can read this, when you call this method while your app is in development mode, a rating and review request view is always displayed, so you can test the user interface and experience. However, this method has no effect when you call it in an app that you distribute using test flight. So make sure that you test it using the X code and connect your iOS device. Now in the iOS device, as you can see that the game opens, if I close the game and reopens it up, you will see the native iOS review pop-up will appear where I can choose the stars. Right now you can see the submit button is grayed out. It's because we are testing it under development build. When you will going to release your game, it will going to be fixed. I will going to click cancel. Now, let's try to test it on the Android device. First, click on the Android and switch platform. Now, let's connect the Android device and click on build and run. In the Android device, let's close this application and open it up again. This is the second time. And as you can see, the Android native pop-up is coming. Now, only the developers can view this. If you Make sure your game is under the internal testing. So you are testing it from there. And here you can pick 4 star, 5 stars or whatever you want. And here, put a review. When you do so, you can just click on submit the review and it will going to be submitted to the game automatically. I will click cancel. Great. So we successfully tested the Android native pop-up in the Android device and the iOS native pop-up in the iOS device. Thanks for watching this video.